they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm poking them down. We turn the spots no frowns. Gang hop out, then we clear them. Hey, what's up, y'all? We got a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today, we have a special guest. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Diamond Street King. How you feeling? I'm good. How you? I'm good. That's what's up. How, what's the vibes in Philly, like growing up in Philly? How would be uh, up there? Shit, it was lit growing up in Philly, though. It was treacherous, but it was lit, you know? So, okay. like, yeah, it was lit growing up. So, what's lit out there? Like, because out here, I guess, we traveling a lot. So, like, we on the trains and shit, dumb young. Right, out there, so. y'all driving mad young? Like, what y'all into? Yeah, like, you know, we was kids. We was outside since pups, so, like, we didn't did everything, like, the shit that, like, a lot of niggas OGs doing now, we didn't do that at Pups. Yeah. So, like, our life, like, our childhood was real fun. I can't really speak on everything, but we had, like, a, so fun, like, a grown... Shit was yeah, big, that, yeah we grew up on dirt bikes and shit. That's our, okay. you know what I'm saying? That's the right. whole hood, dirt bikes out. That's our goal. You know how that shit is. Okay, so walk us through how you got into music. Uh, 2017, mm -hmm. I made a little freestyle, you know what I'm saying? I put it on Instagram. And I was speaking on my homie who passed recently mm -hmm. and shit in 2017 and shit. So mm -hmm. everybody on Instagram, like, yo, go to the studio, drop, drop. But I wasn't a rapper. You feel what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I went to the studio and laid it because like, it was like going a little viral in my hood. Okay. So I laid it, dropped that shit. Three days later, I got booked for Sweet 16. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, yeah. I dropped the song on SoundCloud. Three days later, I'm performing it. You know what I'm saying? Now motherfuckers rapping that shit word for word. I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, all right, bet. It's lit. So that's what really, wanted, like, it made me just like, oh, yeah, I got to do music. I so got to. at that time, was you in high school or you was out of high school already? Yeah, no, I was still in high school. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It was the end of my high school year, though. Okay. Like April. Around, like, April, some shit like that. Okay. So April how did people start hearing it? What, you made a video? Uh, Like, you talking about after I recorded the song? No, before you recorded it, you said everybody. Oh, yeah, it? it was, uh, my homie was recording me, like, rapping and shit. Okay, like, you know on what I'm Facebook yeah. or some shit? Yeah, on Instagram. I put it on Instagram, Instagram. and shit, okay. yep. And then motherfuckers, like, everybody was fucking with it. And I'm like, damn, like, they I'm not even a rapper. I was just doing it just on some, like, funny shit because I know how. And everybody wanted me to get in the lab. So I got in there, and I'm here. Okay. So in high school, what was you working towards? Like, if you wasn't doing music, what you would have been doing? Uh, Just making money, you know what I'm saying? Trying to find a way to make some money. So I was right. looking for jobs and shit like that. But, you know, we had to do what we had to do to make some money outside. But of course, of course. In high school. So, like, your goals, though, like, what was your, what you saw your career for back then? Uh, I used to want to be an architect. Okay. okay. But younger than that, like, that was my higher, like, school years. But, like, younger than that, when I was kid, I used to want to play sports. I was always good at everything, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what they all say. Oh, my everybody, God. Everybody, that's what I'm saying. Every hood nigga wanted to play sports. But I was really good, good, though. Like, good at what? What was the best? Football, sport? basketball. Like, but I was better at football, though. Okay. But basketball, like, I still fry anybody. Okay. And I don't, I don't think no rapper fucking with me, like, in sports. Anybody watching this one, check it out. We can bet for some money. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm you, on you, that. you still nice in basketball. And Fuck yeah. Game. I still cook a nigga. <laughs> okay. All right. So you went to high school. The freestyle's going viral on Instagram. They all telling you to go to the studio. What makes you want to, like, keep doing music at this point? Uh, like, right now? Like, at that point, at that time. Oh, at that time? You, like, keep uh, doing it? Uh, just like my peers and everybody around me, like their reaction and shit like that. It was making everybody happy and shit like that. Mm -hmm. My mom loved my shit, you know what I'm saying? So I just like, and it was coming easy to me, so I just kept going with it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so your family was supportive of the music? Yeah, everybody was, but my whole hood, I had my whole hood behind me. You know what I'm saying? That was really the main, that was like really the main reason, because you know rappers don't be having support out here, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So like, I got my whole hood backing me, like. Okay. You know what I'm saying? My whole little area back in me. That shit made me just like, yeah, I got to go hard. You know okay. what I'm saying? So the whole hood is jacking. Now, do you sign a deal? Or are you still independent? Like, what's, what happened? I signed a deal in 2019. Okay. This 2017 when I first started rapping. Okay. I went to college. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Went to school. Yeah, I went to college for five months. I dropped out the first semester. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Me and my producer went to the studio for like a year straight, just locking in. Mm -hmm. And then the year 2019, I signed with Meek. Okay. So, so how is that working with Meek? No, that's my man. We locked yeah. in. We got some shit coming soon. Everybody stay tuned. Is that like the bucket list or like one of the goals in Philly to sign to Meek, being that Meek put on for Philly? Yeah, it's like crazy because like the whole city, like I know all the rappers in the city, like everybody fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? He a real icon in our city. So right. it's like I wasn't really on no music shit though. I ain't give a fuck about it. You know what I'm saying? Like folks in them reached out and shit. And I'm like, damn, that's crazy. But yeah. yeah, I wasn't expecting that shit though. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Like. So, Out of all people, my fault for cutting yeah, you off, but I'm just like, damn, all these niggas been rapping for 30 years, nobody get no 
You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And the cuz just come take me out the trenches. I'm like, that's thorough. Right. So like, um, all right, so working with him, you, you go out the hood now. So who else is like lit at this time or buzzing at this time from Philly? Uh or was it Philly My man Philly? Pound Side Pop was jumping. Okay. Uh who else? We had the P and B Rocks jumping, yeah. like Core. Yeah. Kwani is like okay. a couple of niggas, yeah. Was you the youngest or uh are you the youngest? I don't know. People? I don't know if I'm the youngest. My generation, I'm probably the youngest, but, yeah. you know, there's a lot of young motherfuckers that got the city turned right now, so I can't even say right. I'm the youngest. But at that time, though, yeah, I was definitely one of the youngest, though, for sure. I was going to say, like, at that time, do you feel like it was pressure to, like, put your foot on the gas at this moment? Because all uh, the people looking at you? I ain't really feel like it was pressure. I just, like, it was just a blessing, you feel what I'm saying? I was just happy, you know what I'm saying? That's all, like, I wasn't really, like, pressured or nothing. I loved it. Like, actually. Pressure meaning like, are you like making sure your songs is the best? Not like. Uh, like I don't. That's that's crazy. Like, when I make music, I don't even like take it that serious. You know what I'm saying? I just go in there and catch a vibe. Like you people take music that. too serious. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying like yeah. motherfuckers really like stress themselves out. They make a song yeah. and they wouldn't do nothing. I go in there and just be myself and have fun and make yeah. a hit. You get what I'm saying? All right. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, okay. you just gotta be creative and just like have fun with it. Okay. Don't stress yourself out trying to make a song. Like, so you just be creative. Fun with it. Catch the vibe, you Catch know what I'm saying? Vibe. Yeah. Okay, what in, what's inspiring you at now, I guess? Like right now? Yeah. Uh, Just my family. Like, I got to go hard. That's how I feel like my reason to doing this shit now is just like to take everybody out this shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Change all my family lives and all my friends and everybody, like all my loved ones. So I just got to go hard until I get them billions, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's all. Okay, so um, the project on the way, Life of a Scapegoat. Scapegoat, yeah. What's the inspo behind that project? Same. Uh, I just feel like, like I'm a scapegoat. You know what I'm saying? Life of a scapegoat. Like it's really in the title. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so what vibes could people expect from this project? Uh, y'all can expect real songs. Like I ain't talking that murder, murder, gunplay in this genre. You know that's what they expect. They, cause you know I'm a, like. A gangster rapper, so they expect me to come like that. But I got like I got love songs on there. I got vibes, you know what I'm saying? All vibes on here, like real songs, you know what I'm saying? Real songs on here. Um, based on personal experience or something a friend went through or No, shit I went through, you know what I'm okay. saying? Like, you know, like I done lo- I took a lot of losses, lost a lot of homies, a lot of my homies book right now. I done lost everything to this shit. So it's really like I'm damn near like me and a couple of my homies the ones out here still holding the shit down, like all my homies damn near booked up. The system got them. You know what I'm saying? So, like, like I got to go. I got to go hard. I ain't got no choice but to go hard. That's why I'm, like, here working every day, bro. That's all. Yeah. So, um, any features on the project? Uh, I got one feature on there. It's Lights. He from Philly. Everybody tap in to my man Lights. It's the only feature on there. So, you got one feature on the project. Mm-hmm. How many songs? Uh, eight songs. If someone never heard your music, what song would you want them to hear from that project? From that project, uh, What You Know or Road to the Millions. Road to the Millions? Yeah. Okay. All right, and then in making music, how are you deciding what goes on the project and worth, what's worth keeping? Or? Uh, I just, like, send it to a couple of my friends and, like, people around me and shit like that, ask them what they think and shit like that. Like, yo, you think this should make the tape? Motherfuckers like, yeah, this person say yeah, this person say no. I'm like... All right, I ain't putting it on there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so then I listen to all the songs. I really go with my gut, you know what I'm saying? I ask all y'all what y'all think. Everybody got their own opinions that'll fuck your head up, you know what I'm saying? They yeah. confuse you. Because this person say, no, I don't like that song. But then this person say, yo, this is my favorite song. So like, you really just got to go with your gut, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's opinionated. Got to go with your gut. Yeah, music is very much opinionated, yeah. so it really depends. So, um, so the song says out, though. If someone never heard your music, what song should they hear? Uh, Go listen to Sue Young. Or Bullseye, or Project Angels, one of them, yeah. Okay, and what do you think makes a good artist in your eyes? Uh, just being creative, switching your flows up and shit like that. It's like everybody can rap, but everybody can be creative with it. You give them different vibes. You know what I'm saying? Like when you can make love songs, trap music, drill music. When you can do it all, mm-hmm. that's when you're an artist. You know what I'm saying? An artist ain't just rapping. That's that's rapping. Being an artist, you gotta really yeah. Get creative. With mm-hmm. Get into that shit. So, um, so who was someone you feel like gave you good advice on your journey? Uh, my mom, God, 
Well, I can't say my whole journey because it was a point in my journey where I didn't even believe in God. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I found God when I like moved my family out the hood. I moved to Atlanta, and then that's when I found God. You know what I'm saying? So like when I first time I did with all that, I was like, see what well, see this on my face? This is a evil thoughts. I was like, yeah, I was on a whole different time. So with moving to Atlanta, I guess was you exposed to different stuff or? Yeah, that shit just opened it like opened you up to the real world. You know what I'm saying? To show you that there's so much shit than just the trenches. Yeah. You know, when you in the projects, that's all you see. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers, like, I got old heads who never left the city. Yeah. Like, my, like old heads, they really, they damn near look up to me. You feel what I'm saying? They never left the city. Mm-hmm. So it's like, when you move and, like, go other places, that should show you that it's way more than just that. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Atlanta so opened my eyes up. So in Atlanta, I guess, did you get more spiritual out there? Yeah. I got more spiritual. Or? No, I don't go to church. You know what I'm saying? That's okay. a scheme right there. No offense to people that go to church, but, like, okay. that's a scheme right there, but... I'm just more spiritual with it. It's like religion. I ain't gonna lie. Religion is like some shit to keep y'all controlled. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. If you get me, like, you know what I'm saying? Or you don't get me. <laughs> this is going you don't get me? I mean, I just know it's other religious people out there. They might think differently. Yeah. So I'm just gonna... It's over 4,000 religions. Who know who really right? Right. We don't know who's really right. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So, um, so what's some of your goals moving forward in music? Uh, and music, just to like get more creative, tap more into like the R&B lane. Like I'm trying to jump out the drill, rap, gangster shit. Like I'm trying to stop the violence. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Want to make love songs and shit like that. You know what I'm okay. saying? Certified lover boy type shit. Okay. Who you listening to when you in that mood? Future. That's toxic. Future. Love, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know I'm the Philly future. You hear me? Okay. Okay. And then um, what's the some advice you would give someone that? On, the, on their way up or on the rise in Philly or anywhere? Uh, just be yourself. Don't let nobody tell you what you can't do because they can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Put your mind to it. You can do that shit. Just be yourself and just trust your gut. Just keep working. Be consistent. Never stop. You know what I'm saying? That's all. Just keep going. You're going to get it one day. One day. All right. I'm going to ask you a couple questions to say the first thing that comes to your mind. Uh, most used curse word. Bitch. Three things you need in the studio. We green light, green light, uh, and just like some fire producers around. That's all. Some fire producers. We a little light. It don't even gotta be green. Just a light. Fire producers and LED some weed. Lights. I'm cool. I'm vibing. LED lights. Yeah. Too. I'm vibing. That's um, my favorite vibe. artist currently. Uh, future. Most used emoji. Praying emoji. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Praying emoji. <laughs> um, what's your toxic trait? Uh, you ain't going nowhere. Okay. Controlling. Yeah. Uh, it's not even just controlling. It's just like you ain't going nowhere. Okay. What song do you listen to for motivation? I listen to myself all day, every day. And then I play future when I'm not trying to be motivated. Like, when I'm trying to be toxic and all that, I play future. But okay. when I want to be motivated, I listen to myself. Okay. One sentence for your ex. My ex? Fuck you. Last thing you spent money on? The last thing I spent money on, food. What's your favorite app? Instagram. What's a trend you wish that didn't exist? The bucket challenge. No, I just made that up. I don't even... I don't care about trends for real, for real, because I don't follow them, but... I just, that was the first thing that came to my mind, you know what I'm saying? Because I just saw the video when 50 Cent was trolling Floyd, uh-huh. and he said something about the bucket challenge and threw the bucket and all that. So that just, that's why I said bucket challenge. But no, that's not my, I don't know. Next question. Name producer that got a fire tag. Uh, call up Tay. Okay. What age do you want to retire? I don't want to retire. As long as I'm breathing, I want to lock in. Okay. Yeah. All right, and last one. Give us one of your bars that people could use as a caption. Uh, I'm about late nights and I got so many songs. Let me think real quick. Hold on. <laughs> a bar that you put as a caption. Yeah. I knew I was gonna be the one. I knew I was gonna be the one to get us millions. I said it wrong though. How I say my own bar wrong? That is crazy. That's all, all my fans, I apologize, y'all. I just got my own bar wrong. Hold on, I got. You know, I freestyle my music. I haven't wrote a song since 2018, so like everything is freestyle. So it was all in my head, and I be so forgetting. So what song a got bit. a lot of captions? I'm what you know, every bar is a caption. Okay. 
I just did it on Black Work TV. Y'all gonna see that coming real soon. All right, all right. Tell the people where to find you. How can they tune in? Uh, y'all can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Google, YouTube, Diamond Street Chemo, everything. You might find me in your bitch phone. You know what I'm saying? If you're really looking for me, yeah. <laughs>